Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pixie Love and today we're diving back into uh, fat acceptance TikTok. I feel like I haven't found really bad ones again like last time. So if there's any that you guys want to send me to send me down a rabbit hole, please send me some. Because I spent 45 minutes looking for these videos and I don't think any of them are that bad. I'm just going to probably talk about how cute all these people look again. But you know... Last one did really well. I hope this one does just as well. But yeah, so just let me know if there's any that you guys see that you think I would like. like. So just send some to me in the comments or something because, I don't know, I want to get into the deep crazy shit but I can't find any of it. And I'm on like a time schedule so I gotta hurry up and record this video. So send me some crazy ones but for today we're gonna deal with the ones I found and let's, let's jump into this. You put that dress on. They know you're fat. Put it on. You're fat even with the oversized t-shirt on. Put the dress on. <laughs> Start off light in your backyard just like me. Put the dress on though. Because you look damn good. And I look damn good. We're going to look good together. Yes. Okay. See? <laughs> that is how I am. Your girl wears her short shorts and crop tops. And I don't give two fucks. Fuck. I look good. I know I fucking look good. And y'all know I'm fat. I know I'm fat. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Like, yes. Put the fucking dress on. This is not how this video is supposed to be. <laughs> but I picked this one on purpose. Like, I knew this one was, like, really positive and everything. But I like it. Like, I don't hate fat people. I hate how delusional some fat activists are. But I don't hate fat people being confident. I tell you guys all the time. I am a confident-ass bitch. And so is she. She knows it. I don't understand why people try to... Listen. Wear what you want. Okay? Let, let's, let's do something else. Okay, so I have to have the sound muted because one, the music is really loud and I just, I'm not playing that in my ear. So, I'll tell you what the girl says when she speaks. I gotta try this. That's what she says. I feel like I also should try this. I just like, boom. <laughs> I wonder if she did one boob or two. I think the other girls did one boob. Either way, like, yeah, these things weigh, okay? I take 10 pounds off for my weight and 10 pounds off of my boobs when I weigh myself. Just saying. Yeah, I'm like going back over the ones I picked. They're not, I don't know what to say. Like, they're just, they're not that bad, but they're entertaining. So we're going to watch them. I'm going to comment on them. I don't know. Send me some better ones, okay, guys? Send me some better ones. Maybe it's just because you're ugly. Shut the fuck up. She's actually really fucking cute. Sorry, I was dancing. Um, she's really fucking pretty. At first when I saw her face, I'm like, she's not even like fat. So like her face hasn't even gotten big yet. Which like, that's the best for me. When like your body's a little thick, a little thick, but your face is still nice and slim. Like girl she's fucking cute I, I i can't really say anything about this like and no just because you're a big girl doesn't mean you're ugly i'm just saying but she she's fucking pretty <laughs> I, I can't say anything about her because she she knows she's pretty like what the hell and i think she would be like a small fat or a medium fat so you know she can't you know she doesn't have room to speak because she's not fat fat you know just saying. She's technically, I think, a medium fat, so. Um, yeah, they want someone who can eat like them and also work out like them, who stays small like them. Like, you, you don't understand? People can have a preference. If someone doesn't want to date a fat person, that's completely fine. They don't have to date a fat person. There's a lot of people that date you, that will date fat people. So, I don't understand why you want someone who doesn't want you. Just get over it. Just get over it. Keep it moving. They don't want you. You don't want them. What's the, what's the issue? What is the problem? Okay, before I start this video, this made me so fucking hungry. Oh my god, look at all her fucking food. Okay. sorry but where the fuck are all her comments containing unsolicited health advice from strangers 
Where are the comments worried about her health, saying she's going to die by the time she's 40? Where are the people counting her calories, although she didn't ask for them? Where are the people saying that it's disgusting to put that much food in your body? Where are the people assuming she eats like this every day based off of a 60-second fucking TikTok? Nowhere. Go, go right now, click on her video, go in the comment section, and see if she even has a quarter of the hate comments I get in all of my What I Eat in a Day videos. Now, does she deserve hate comments? Absolutely not. Nor should you go in her comment section and start berating her about what she chooses to eat. Everybody has the right to do whatever the fuck they want with their bodies. But this is a perfect example about how fat people get harassed and mistreated for the same exact fucking things that thin people do. Sending all the love to this girl, but we need to do better about treating all bodies equally. I mean, like, I agree with what you're saying, but she does legit say it's her cheat day. And we can tell she doesn't eat like that all the time because she doesn't look like you. And you yourself are not even that big. I'm not trying to say that you're that big. But people who understand how food works and how eating too much, how it affects your body, we can clearly see she doesn't eat like that all the time. She probably eats like that like for the fucking video. And I doubt she's even eating all of that. And if she is... Like I said, she doesn't eat like that all the time because if she did, she would look more like me, more like someone who's a lot bigger. I don't even eat like that all the fucking time. Like, that's where the people, the reason people aren't going down to throat because they know, no one actually even believes that she's fucking eating all that food. And no, you don't deserve fucking hate comments. I agree with you. I think people should just leave you the fuck alone. Let you do your life. Let you live your fucking life. If you don't like what someone is putting out on the internet, do not watch it. Do not fucking you know, com comment on it unless it is literally hurting someone, don't say anything about it. And if they're hurting themselves, let them... Wait, that sounds really bad. Okay. Like, if you don't like what someone's posting, do not fucking watch it. If you don't like a fat person eating a bunch of food, don't watch a fat person eating a bunch of food. I find Nikocado Avocado fucking horrendous. I hate the man. He irks my fucking skin. When I watch people who talk about him, I literally hate him. I will never go and watch his videos because I don't like his videos. I find him fucking annoying. If you don't like what someone else is posting, don't watch them. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you guys like down below. If you enjoy me, make sure you subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. And let's get back to the craziness. If you're a fat person or you were a fat kid, what's a comment that someone's made to you about you being fat that you still think about to this day? I will start. <laughs> my dad told me, and I'm sure like other young fat girls have heard this before, that if I didn't lose weight, I wouldn't find a partner. That was a lie. I've had multiple partners. <laughs> I was laughing because none of those relationships lasted. They loved me though. And I found partners. So he was wrong. <laughs> I like how she's like, but none of my relationship last. <laughs> um, this one's not bad either. I, guys, I'm trying. I went through the fat girl TikTok. I went through the fat activist. I went through body positive. I don't know where these crazy TikToks are, man. I don't know where they are. And I don't know where to find them. Y'all need to help me find them, okay? But I'm trying to think. What is something that stuck with, out with me? Um... I don't know, I've had a lot of things happen to me. I, I can't really specifically think of a moment when someone commented on my weight. I'm sure there are some. I'm sure I blocked some shit out. I'm sure I, I don't even really care. Cause honestly, after high school, when I did start getting big, I really did stop giving a fuck what people think about me. That's just what it is. But I understand things people say to you can affect your life. Like I get it, I get it. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't think of any moments right now. So, but like, girl, I feel you. No one said big people can't be in a relationship. Most of the people in my 600 pound life aren't single. I'm just saying. It doesn't mean you should be 600 pounds. But someone will love you. Skinny is not synonyms of healthy. I am 26 and I never... Fat is not synonymous of unhealthy. I'm 26 and I exercise daily. I have normal blood pressure and cholesterol. Who knew, right? Okay, let's talk about that. Exercising does not make you healthy. Who said exercise equals to being healthy? No one said that. I don't know who told you that, but no. Just because you exercise doesn't mean you're healthy. The person who is, I don't the skinny person who doesn't work out, you eat 
a normal amount of calories a day. So you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight, you stay at your same weight, you don't need to exercise. The person who exercises every day, you're still eating at a calorie surplus while fucking exercising, and that's why you haven't lost weight. That's just the point of the matter. You're still eating a lot of food and exercising. Like, when I first started losing weight, I didn't really change what I ate. I just started exercising, and I initially lost 20 pounds because I didn't change what I was eating, and I added something new. But if you're exercising every day and you're already eating a lot, then you're already still eating more than what you're burning. Now, try cutting out, like, 500 calories, and you'll probably notice that you're going to start losing weight. You probably need to cut out more, but I'm just saying, like, slowly cut out some calories and you might see a freaking difference. That is why you look the way you look. And you're still really young, which is probably why you don't have, like, high cholesterol or the other thing you talked about. You're still young. Health problems really don't come until, like, later on in life when you're, like, your 30s and stuff like that. And you're also not that big. I don't know how tall you are, but I would say you're, like, 250 to 300 pounds depending on your height. You're really not that big. I've seen a lot worse on this fucking on tiktok hey guys wanted to show you this new shirt i got stop trying to normalize obesity i'm i'm just trying to show off my shirt i want to show this because these are the same people who say they don't care what anyone else thinks or says if you don't care what people say why the fuck do you keep talking about what people are saying i'm just saying if you're so confident like me I am actually a really confident fat person and I say that because I don't care what other people say about me. Earlier in this video, I couldn't even remember a time when someone said something about me being fat because I don't give a fuck. Those things don't sit with me and there's nothing wrong with caring about those things, I understand. But don't sit here and pretend to be super confident in yourself when you're not super confident. If you're not confident, say you're not confident. You know, you can still love yourself and not be confident. But no, you guys pretend to be confident as hell. And yet, you're fucking not. You're really not. You're insecure. And it's fine being insecure. Own up to being insecure. There is more big people who are insecure than there are big people who are confident. And you will relate a lot more to the people if you didn't pretend to be so freaking confident that nothing affects you and everything that you deal with. You just throw it on your shoulder and you keep it moving because you don't care but the truth of the matter is you fucking care let people know you care there's nothing wrong with caring just be honest okay Ugh. okay this girl goes on like a fucking long ass rant let's just <sighs> i don't even want to watch it again but let's watch it again I was talking to my therapist earlier this week and I said that I thought someone didn't like me because I was a fat raging liberal and she said that's pretty harsh and I said which part they're both true I am fat and a raging liberal and I like both of those things about me and she said oh well you know sometimes people can you know have bad associations with the word fat and I said fat's a neutral word and she goes it should be and I said no fat is a neutral word. It is a completely neutral word that is a descriptive word. It is an adjective that describes my body accurately. It assigns no value and holds no worth, positive or negative. It simply is. And if you assign it a negative value, that's some internal fat phobia that you need to unlearn. And I don't feel like it's a negative word. And she said, this is why I love having you as a client because your girl loves to win therapy because I don't know what to say to all this junk. I do agree. Fat is just a description, a descriptor word. It is a word to describe how someone is. If you're fat, you are fat. I don't think it should have any positive or negative connotations to the word. I agree with that. But like, this is giving me some r slash that happened. Like, okay. I don't know. I just, I feel like it could have happened, but just like, I feel like you might be exaggerating the story a little bit. And Pixie, why are you frozen? Why are we frozen, camera? Thank you. Sorry, I had to yell at my camera for a second. I just like, I don't know, this girl is just fucking, <laughs> I can't, I can't. I don't know, I feel like I agree with what she's saying, but it's like just the way she says it makes her, makes it seem like she just feel like she's so superior than everyone else and like no one else thinks the way that she thinks. So she's just on a superior level being and it's like everyone else is fat phobic around her and blah, 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 I don't know. I just find her annoying. Even when I agree with these people, I find them fucking annoying. I don't know why, but I do. It's gonna be the last uh, person we're gonna talk about for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, please send me some ones that go really deep and really crazy. I can't find any. I don't have the time to sit through and 
go really deep in them but let me know find show send me some i will you guys can send it to me on instagram you guys can send it to me on my tiktok as well i do have a tiktok it will be in the description you can send it to me on twitter send it to me somewhere and i will find send me one or two and i can go down a rabbit hole i just need i just need some some starter ones okay but if you i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys later bye bye